welcome to the pace academy channel in this class we are going to learn about how to find the number of zeros in each case of this graph in which we have the polynomial p of x represented by these graphs the graphs of y is equal to p of x it is very simple if it is p of x that means you need to check the lines which are drawn on the graph on the x-axis and the y-axis so you, you must check whether this line is cutting the x-axis whether it is positive axis or negative x-axis in the first graph you can see it is not intersecting at no point there is no point of intersection at the x-axis so the number of zeros in this case are zero for this Coming to the second graph, if you check the x-axis, it is intersecting at this point. So answer is 1. The number of zeros is 1. And in the third graph, you can check 1 and 2 and 3. There are 3 points. Therefore, there are 3 intersections with the x-axis. The number of zeros are 3. In the fourth graph, number 1, number 2. So there are 2 intersections with the x-axis. The number of zeros are in this case 2. In the last graph you can see 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the number of intersections are 4. The number of zeros are 4 in this case. This is how the way to find out the number of zeros. It can come in the examination about 1 marks. In the next class we will see some more problems of the syllabus. So please subscribe and share our videos. Thank you.